Blog Talk Radio. Good morning. It's Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. It's Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and that is the time for no BS job search advice. In this episode, or in these episodes, what I try to do is give very straightforward job hunting advice for people, because job hunting doesn't really have to be as difficult as most of you are experiencing, regardless of the economy. You know, most of the issue is not about your skills. Most of the issue for people I meet is about the fact that they really don't know how to conduct a job search. It's a different set of skills. And that's where I try to give you some advice. Now, you'll find more advice at my website, jeffaltman.com. And as I'll mention again later on, you can sign up for a complimentary subscription to my easy no BS job search advice while you're there. And, you know, there are previous articles I've published at the website. There's a lot of good information, uh, information about my books and guides to job hunting. But, you know, when all is said and done, you need to learn how to conduct a job search just like you needed to learn how to do your job well. So that's what I try to provide on No BS Job Search Advice Radio. Now, today's show is brought to you by ConsultingAssignments.com. ConsultingAssignments.com is a site where you can find and fill consulting assignments, temp assignments, full-time consulting jobs, temp to perm and contract to hire positions anywhere in the world absolutely free. Posting a job, posting your resume is free. Searching jobs and resumes, free. Contacting one another is free. If you don't see something on the site, you know, click the button on the home page that says Indeed, and it will take you to another site where there will be even more listings. So that's consultingassignments.com. Now, later on, I'm going to introduce a new feature on the show that I'm quite excited about, uh, but Today, I'm, I'm, I want to start off by saying, you know, last week was a tough week for me, but it was a tougher week for a lot of my friends in the New York area who were affected by the storm. My office was affected, but I personally wasn't. Uh, you know, my office was shut down because it was in that grid for uh, power being turned off in Manhattan. So we didn't have power from Monday night late until Tuesday. I'm sorry, until Saturday. Uh, at around 11 p.m., so no email. So if you happen to forward a resume to me, I'm still playing catch-up. I did some work over the weekend once I saw mail was active again, but I'll try and get in touch with you within the next 24 hours. Now, today's show is going to be talking with you about relocation uh, and finding a job if you're the trailing partner of someone who's going to be moving. Now, to explain what I mean about being a trailing partner, sometimes uh, an organization is going to move a position to another part of the country. Or sometimes one of you finds a position first in a part of the country that you've agreed to, uh, to move to, but it's the other of you is now going to trail that individual there uh, and doesn't have a job lined up. So, that's what today's show is going to talk about before I get into the new feature and some of the jobs I'm recruiting for. So what do you do? And I'll speak of my own circumstances where we decided to move in January 2011, sell our home, move to a different part of the country that uh, we really didn't know a lot about, uh, researched it very quickly. Now, I was going to stay with my current firm. Uh, I had been with them since... Uh, March of 2002, I didn't want to leave, and they were kind enough to allow me to work remotely, even though I was, you know, 14 hours away by car, you know, uh, an hour and a half, two-hour flight from their offices. So imagine, for example, that's you. Do you have that facility? Will your firm allow you to work remotely? For For most of you, the answer is no. But for some of you, it's something that you ought to find out pretty quickly. But let's assume that that's not going to be an option for you. The first thing you need to do is research your local market as soon as you can. Sometimes the offer to move comes very quickly. You know, uh, one of you is brought into a conference room and management is saying, good news, 
we're going to be moving you to Brussels, yeah, or Omaha, or New York, or wherever it's going to be. And you really don't know a lot about the new area, but you have to go hustle. So often there's only a month or so, sometimes two or three, from the time that one of you is going to be asked to move uh, and the other of you is going to have to follow or stay behind. Now, one thing, obviously, to contend with is if you're a homeowner, how is that firm going to deal with moving you if you you own a home? Uh, And as the trailing person, if you're an individual who's uh, who's partners with a firm that's not going to give them anything, but they really want to follow, well, you're going to have to sell the house. But you're also going to have to research the new area and find out about the job market for what you do. Uh, So you you can waste time, you can dawdle, but frankly, you're going to have to hustle. You're going to have to contact that realtor, uh, find out about uh, what the market is for selling your home, getting out of your lease if you're a renter, moving to a new part of the country, finding out what the job market is specifically for what you do. And I want to be explicit about that and repeat it, particularly for what you do. The generic job market doesn't matter. Uh, It's a market for what you do that matters. So, for example, if you're moving to, I don't know, Birmingham, Alabama, and the market there is primarily a defense market, and what you do is fashion design, man, it's going to be tough for you. And, and you got to figure out what you're going to do in that job market. So find out as soon as you can. Next thing you need to consider doing is asking your partner's fir- firm if they'll give you a career consultation. A lot of firms do that, but they only do it if you ask. You know, basically, from the firm's standpoint, they have a vested interest in doing it because it's going to help them retain that employee who they risk losing uh, if their partner can't find work. So having a consult with uh, an outplacement firm, having a consult with a relocation specialist who handles employment in the new market area uh, is something that they're often very willing to do. Start getting to your network is the third thing you need to think of doing. And, you know, being blunt about it, you know, I've always said you build your LinkedIn network at times where you don't think you need it so that when you do need it, you know, they know you and they're willing to help you. Now, know you works with the assumption that you do what it seems like most people tend to do is add lots of names as soon as they can, um, but don't really try and build relationships with them. Um, I think it's important to add lots of names and build relationships with them. Make them aware of what you're doing professionally, some of your successes. Don't sell to them. Uh, get involved with groups on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, be an advocate for people. Help them. Uh, don't ask for help until you really need it. But you know, I go into more detail in one of my guides. Uh, actually, I have two guides that really cover this. Uh, um, one is an ebook that I have available for Kindle, and as a PDF, it's called Look Me Up, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Social Networking Your Way to Job Search Success. The other one is LinkedIn Job Search Success Made Simple. The book is $9.99. The guide is $5. You can find out about them on my website or on Amazon. But uh, the idea is... You know, you want to reach into your network and see if there are folks there that are willing to help you. Uh, join a professional organization. You know, many trade groups have local chapters throughout the country or throughout the world. You know, start attending meetings in your new city. Um, you know, if you're tr- if you're going to be moving a thousand miles away, obviously you can't do it before the you know the, the move takes place. But sometimes it's a regional move, and yes, uh, you, know, you might drive a couple of hours to attend an evening meeting, but do it. You know, it's going to help you develop relationships with people, meet folks who are in that market, in your new part of the country, uh, and you know, develop the relationships where 
they can profit and so can you. Lastly, if nothing else works, and obviously I'm, I've skipped over you know, applying to ads and making it clear that uh, you're moving to that area by such and such date, um, but you know, consider volunteering. Consider doing part-time work. Uh, find organizations that will hire you so you can network within those firms into something more to your liking. So those are a few of my ideas for people uh, who are going to be trailing their partner to a new part of the world. Now, I want to introduce a new feature for you uh, that uh, – I'm real excited about it, and I just want to say that if you want your firm mentioned in this segment of the show, uh, it's basically going to be information about firms that are hiring. If you want your firm mentioned, uh, contact me at thebiggamehunter at gmail.com. Again, that's thebiggamehunter at gmail.com. Uh, I'm not going to include recruiting firms with this, uh, but actual companies that are hiring. So uh, this is a segment about firms throughout the world that are going to be hiring people. And to give you an idea of the numbers of jobs that are going to be involved. Sometimes I may know about uh, the nature of the positions, uh, but more often than not, you're going to have to be hire, uh, contacting these firms directly. Now, the first one is in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Uh, this is a firm called Engel Shipbuilding, and they're going to be hiring 5,000 people over the next two years. Uh, you know, these are going to be people at all levels, so they're willing to take entry-level people. They're willing to increase – well, they are increasing their apprentice program. Um, so, you know, this is a firm that's going to be hiring people to help them build uh, uh, ships is the long and the short of it. Uh, so you can contact them uh, in Pascagoula. Next, in Melbourne, Florida, Nuance Communications uh, is going to be doing a project where they're going to be adding 115 jobs during the next year. Uh, Nuance is a firm that specializes in speech and image software technology. Uh, they're based in Massachusetts. Uh, they actually developed Siri for the iPhone. Uh, so they're going to be hiring 115 people. Uh, lastly for today is a firm in Virginia called Bauer Compressors. They're, they're based out of Norfolk uh, in Virginia. And they're going to be building its workforce uh, over the next few years. Uh, for the short term, it's going to be 130 jobs in Virginia. But overall, they're going to be hiring about 300 people. So, again, that's uh, Bauer Compressors uh, that's going to be doing this, these hiring. Uh, again, I have nothing to do with these positions. You have to contact them directly. Now, for jobs that I'm recruiting for, here are a few of the new positions I have available. Uh, I need an enterprise data architect in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, they'll relocate someone here or take someone local. Enterprise data architecture data modeling, ETL, informatica background to about 155. Uh, I also need an enterprise uh, infrastructure architect uh, with consulting or managed services experience. Uh, there are more details at jeffaltman.com, so look at the listings there. I also need a senior storage architect who's also a road warrior. Uh, it could be based anywhere in the U.S., but you need to be prepared uh, to do 80% travel. So if you're qualified, interested, and available in any of these roles, please email your resume to me at thebiggamehunter at cisny.com. If you know someone who might fit one of these jobs better than you, by all means, ask them to forward a resume. There are many more jobs at jeffaltman.com, more details as well. So come over to the website and search the listings. And while you're there, explore the site because there's a lot of good information, places where you can post your resume, um, information about the job market, uh, information about my books and guides to job hunting. So like I said, come over to jeffaltman.com and explore the listings. This is Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found today's show helpful. I'll be back next Monday with more No BS Job Search advice. I won't be on the air the following week. I'm going to be taking that Monday off. Hope you have a great day. 
Take care.